Hey, kid, will you, hold, will you hold still for a minute? Hey, something's on your face. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Settle down. Settle down. Sit. Come here. <laughs> sit. 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 Come here. <laughs> you got a leaf on your face. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It's Friday, and it's very nice out. I think it's about 10 o'clock, and it's it's windy. You probably can hear it, um, but it's almost 60 degrees. It's November. What is today? Is today the 20th. November. November 20th in Michigan, and. It's going to be 63 degrees today. It was 65 yesterday. It was nice. Went out shopping with my daughter Whoa. <laughs> to get some uh, Christmas gifts. And it was beautiful. So beautiful. As you can see, we got all the patio furniture put away. Uh, the, hot, the hot tub is now in the garage. Um, Left the gas grill out because we'll grill out in the winter. We don't care. <laughs> um, got the the chairs around the fire pit are in the shed over here, but they're easily they, you can easily grab them if we have a fire out here. But we got some firewood delivered. You want it, Milo? You want it, Milo? <laughs> you get that ball, Milo. You get that ball. <laughs> you get that ball. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. He's going to leave. He's going to leave with it. Yes. He wants to go bite it. Yes, he does. <laughs> Are you angry? Are you angry? Look at him. He's got his face. <laughs> you made it look like a bull. You make it look you made it look like a bull. Milo, Mickey is none too happy with you. He's not happy with you. Why do you keep sticking your face in it? Why do you keep sticking your face in it? <laughs> okay, let me kick it. Let me kick it to Mickey this time. Okay. Oh, you want it too, Max? You know you don't want it. Okay, you got to back up or it's going to hit you in the face. Oh! <laughs> Max, you ran right in front of it. I told you. Max. Max. Max, come here. Come here, Max. Come here, Max. <laughs> I told you it's going to hit you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it says, Not this time, little brother. Not this time, little brother. Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. My husband called in. I'm filming on my phone. Yes. <laughs> I'm not kicking it towards Max anymore. Because he always runs in front of the ball and it hits him. <laughs> yeah, so everything is put away. Um, I think I was saying we got firewood delivered. So we've also got some in our garage. And um, the thing we used to have out here that held firewood. We got some in there. Need to get a tarp on this. Um, because I think we might have snow, uh, next week. I'm not sure though. So we need to get a tarp on this to keep it somewhat dry. Um, we got our little pine tree. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the pine tree. We planted a, if you remember when we moved in this house, there was a huge tree back here and we had to cut it down and get rid of it. Um, so we could get our fence up while well, we planted a little pine tree over here. in the house he's barking we planted a little pine tree over here so we put some sticks around here got some burlap we need to cable tie this end we need to cable tie over here too and on this one we need to bring some out later today to keep the burlap up so if it snows it doesn't weigh it down because we could get as much snow as how tall that is and we don't want it to get ruined so <laughs> so we got that done we also planted a couple trees in our side yard too so 
um because we removed did we remove yeah we removed a tree over there too so we replanted i think we planted three pine trees over there so planted some more trees those are all taken care of for the winter um yeah even though it's nice today and yesterday we know it's coming right mozzie right mozzie mozzie has not gotten his medication yet for his cushings um what are you guys doing over here? Did you guys get this piece of wood? They like to pee on the wood. That's for sure. <laughs> as soon as we let them out after we stacked this, they sniffed it and peed on it. Yes. If anything's in the backyard, it's getting peed on. Um, so he hasn't gotten his medication yet from the pharmacy. They had a problem. They said that they never got the call from my vet past Friday today's Friday so it was last Friday when she was supposed to call it in they said they never received it because I called the pharmacy on Wednesday and said hey I haven't heard anything uh, to get payment on this and they said we never got a call so she called it in and it's getting mailed up from down by the Detroit area um, so I haven't got it yet but I think I'm gonna wait till if I get it today or tomorrow um, I'm gonna wait till Monday to start it because I don't want to give it to them until vets are open in case he has any uh, reactions to it and I talked to the pharmacist and she said um, side effects are the basic things vomiting diarrhea um, being lethargic so um, so if I get that Friday today or Saturday tomorrow I will not start it till Monday just to make sure I have vets open in case I need to take him if he has any problems with it but it's gonna be a low dose that's why she's having it compounded we're starting out at a very low dose um, and then he gets a test in a month after he's been on it and see how it's working. So we're not starting him at some high dose, uh, that will affect him too badly. So we need to see what dosage he needs to be at. So it may take a couple times getting the medicine dosage right. We'll see. Hopefully it's just the real low dose and he'll be fine. Um, that's what I'm hoping. So what's going on over there? They brought out a toy from inside. Look at it. I usually don't let them have these toys out here, but somebody snuck it out in their mouth today. And <laughs> I didn't know they brought it out. And when I saw it in their mouth, I thought, oh my God, they got an animal. <laughs> but it's just a toy from inside. One of their squirrel toys. Subscriber <coughs> sent. Yes. I thought you just killed something. I thought you killed something when I saw that in your mouth. Yes. Yes, everybody has to get baths today, too. So, all right, I'm going to uh, finish doing what I'm doing out here. And um, go inside. I'm going to show you guys my, uh, sh I got my schnauzer tree up. And some of my schnauzer decorations out. I didn't get everything out this year. I don't even have all my schnauzer ornaments on the tree. Because I had to use a different tree this year. Because uh, the tree I used last year, uh, the light stopped working on it. So, I just used a smaller type of slim not really a pencil tree, but it's a slimmer tree. So I don't even have all my ornaments out. And I didn't get all my decorations out. Just some of them this year. So I want to show you guys that here uh, when I go in. So we'll be right back. Look at Grant over there. He's just sniffing. Taking in the sights and sounds. <laughs> he wants to go in. We've been out here. He, he lasts out here about 10 minutes. He's ready to go in. He's an old man. He wants to go in and lay down. <laughs> he's like, come on, guys. It's time to go in. Come on. Oh, maybe he's going to go look around. Look how good he's walking, guys. Um, I don't have to put a sock on him anymore. Uh, boot anymore. Uh, when he's outside. And I don't have to put the cone of shame on him anymore. He's been he's left <coughs> alone now. Look at him. He knows that girl. <coughs> He smells it all the time. Where'd you go, Grant? Grant! <laughs> I cooked some burgers out the other night. Would you stop it? Would you stop it? Okay, we're gonna go in, Grant. We're gonna go in. I'm sitting here eating some breakfast. I thought I'd show you my audience here.
the only person not here is Merlin. Oh, someone left over here. Who left over here? Max? Did Max leave? <laughs> he said, I guess I'm not getting nothing. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, there he is. He went around the island. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Here is the schnauzer tree in the schnauzer room. It's kind of sunny, so hopefully we don't get too much of a glare <laughs> when I try to show you this stuff. So, here is the schnauzer tree. Here's my topper. Christmas schnauzer. Okay, no shenanigans around here. No, we don't want stuff knocked over. I have to fix that tree skirt constantly. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of go down the front of the tree so you can see some of the schnauzer ornaments on it. Like I said, I didn't get all of my schnauzer ornaments out because this tree is smaller than the one I had last year. So, and I don't put any on the back. So there's the schnauzer tree and it looks like, yes, Kitty is going to, <laughs> I just fixed it too. It's the tree skirt is too big for that tree. So I kind of have to, <laughs> oh my goodness, this, Yes, I have to fix it all the time. So I can't, the Velcro on it, I can't connect it good because I've got to finagle it under there so it looks right. And that kitty gets in the crack of where I put put it together and he gets under it constantly. And the dogs chase, they, they attack him under there. Yeah, so I've also um, not, I don't have tons of my precious breakable ornaments towards the bottom because I'm scared he'll break them, but... Yeah, remember last year I had to put, I put salt bags on the trees so he wouldn't knock them over because when he was really little, he would climb them. Yeah, yes, this is what, <laughs> this is what happens multiple times throughout the day. It hasn't fallen over yet. I'm still thinking about getting a salt bag to sit on it though. I probably should. And you guys are probably saying, yes, get one. So... <laughs> Here's the fireplace. Um, I'll show you shelf by shelf. Here's uh, one of my Christmas schnauzer statues, and I've got a, sign, a Merry Christmas sign and the kitty's stockings. And then this shelf has two uh, Christmas schnauzers. I found, I think I found these last year at Meyer. And then I've got four of the boys' stockings hanging on this shelf. And then this shelf over here has a happy ho holidays um, sign I found. I think I found this at Meyer last year too. I think it's adorable. And then we've got a little Christmas tree there. And then a, I believe in Santa Paws. And then the rest of the boys' stockings hanging over here. And then down here, I have this cute little Christmas sign. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And then another We Believe in Santa Paw sign and then a paw print sign back there. And then I found these cute Christmas um, Christmas dog beds at TJ Maxx yesterday. They were, I think they were $14.99. And then over here on my um, little TV stand, I've got my Schnauzer Christmas trees that I, um, a couple subscribers sent to me. Someone uh, sent me this one, and then another family sent me this one here. And I love them. I love them, love them. Hopefully you can see that really good with the uh, sun shining on it. Um, and then, of course, I've got the boys' pictures on there, too. So, yes. So, that is our Christmas decor for the Schnauzer Room. And I think it turned out really cute. Like I said, I don't have, I also was sent um, some other uh, Christmas uh, schnauzer items last year. I do not have them out. As you can see, it gets rambunctious in here with the cat and the dogs. And I figured these over here, um, 
are heavy enough the cat can't knock it over so I'm just trying to be careful not to break anything um, that I cherish that have anything out that could be broken that I really cherish so that's why I've got that um, Christmas Chanel's are way up there because <laughs> if the kitty wanted to he could jump on this little TV tray here and get up there but cross my fingers he has not done it yet so um, so I've got him way up there um, to hopefully save him and the, and the kitty never gets up on these shelves either over here but I don't have anything Christmassy over there oh and I got this pillow here too I'll go show you. The, I'll go show you out here too. Just in case you're interested. If you're not, you can fast forward a little bit. I'll show you what I got. It's darker back here because the sun doesn't shine in here. Um, I've got my other tree out here. So, got the fireplace decorated a little bit with the stockings, and there's kitten. There's kitten taking a little snooze right there. We've had a couple fires in the fireplace already, and I put a, a dog bed out here because the dogs like to lay there and be toasty. Um, and then I've got some Christmas pillows out, uh, Christmas tray and candle, and then out here I have my Christmas tablecloth out, and then a little Christmas decor here and then in the kitchen I've got a little dish towel and this in my window here and then what else do I have out oh and then just on my bookshelves I've got some um, signs and different things here well I've got my little red truck over here on the table here and then I've got some Christmas signs on the top and then on the first two top shelves I've got a couple Christmas things so yeah that is Christmas at the Schnauzer house so I wanted to um share a couple items I got in the mail a couple gifts so hold on one second and I'll get them and share them with you Okay, I let all the boys outside. It's a beautiful day. They need to go out and leave that kitty alone. <laughs> okay, so first I want to say thank you to Emily. She sent Mozzie a birthday card and a birthday gift. Mozzie appreciates it so much, Emily. Thank you so much for... You're so kind. Thank you so much. Um, and then Natalie and her schnauzer, Walter, sent me a card and these cute gifts, I love them. Thank you so much, Natalie. This cute little um, bag with schnauzers on it. Thank you. I'm gonna fill this up with some of my um, goodies and put it in my purse. And then she sent me this too. I would love to, but my mini schnauzer and I already made plans in this little like notebook. Thank you so much, Natalie. Thank you so much, you're so kind. And then Alyssa sent me this hourglass and I had it sitting here for a little bit so the sand would go down so I could show you what it says on it. It says, Schnauzer Mom, may every hour of every day bring you happiness. Isn't that beautiful? That is so nice of you, Alyssa. Thank you so much. And I'm, of course, going to sit that on my bookshelf <laughs> because... I know the cat will knock that over. Yeah, so that's going to go on my bookshelf somewhere to keep it nice and um, prevent him from getting to it. So thank you so much, you guys, for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. And thinking of the boys, uh, Emily, thank you so much. So I already got Grant out here, I think, whining. Yes, look at him. He's already whining to come in. <laughs> if I'm not out there... He goes out, does his business, walks around just a little bit, and then he wants instantly back in. Yes, he does. Oh, so does Miggy. All right, everybody wants back in. I think it's because they think they're going to get a treat. I think you guys think you're going to get a treat for some reason, huh? Huh? You think so? All right, guys. I'm going to end the um, video here. Um, it's been kind of a long one, so... 
Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend um, and hope everybody's doing great. And we'll talk to you guys again next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.